Hi and welcome to Weight Trainer Plus. In this video we will be reviewing the features available to users that are training on the Weight Trainer Plus program. The first thing you will want to do is log in. Your manager may send you a welcome email with a one-time link to log into the site or send you a username, password, and a URL to enter at the top of your browser. Some restaurants may even put a link on their website that will let you directly access Weight Trainer Plus. If not, Bookmark the Weight Trainer Plus URL so you will be able to quickly access the site in the future. When entering your login, please keep in mind that usernames and passwords are case sensitive. After logging in for the first time, you should visit your profile by clicking on the profile link on the top right hand side of the page. This will open up the profile page. Here you can upload a photo of yourself, write something in the About Me section, upload important documents, update your contact information, and change your password to something that is easy for you to remember. Please note, it is important that you keep your current email listed in the system as this works directly with Weight Trainer Plus messaging and the forgot password link on the login page. After you have updated your profile information, you can select the Home tab to go back to the home page. On the left side of the home page, you can see any messages that have been sent to you by an administrator at your restaurant. When reading messages, it is important to mark the message read to give an indication that you have read and understand the message that was sent to you. Messages that have been marked read will still be available for you to look at on the All Messages screen unless archived by a site administrator. On the right side of the page, you will see a list of courses that have been assigned to you arranged in the order in which they are due. Note that you'll see categories like Overdue, Due in 7 Days, due in more than 30 days. Also, you might see brief descriptions of each course. Alternately, you can see available courses by clicking on the My Courses tab. Here you can see all of your courses, their due dates, the number of topics in the course, and their current status. If a course is listed as assigned, you will see a due date. If you have already passed the course, you will see a green check mark and a score under the Past title. If you have started a course but have not completed or submitted it, then the status will read In Progress. If a course has been made available to your position for training but not assigned, then it will be listed as Available. You can search for a particular course by using the search field on the upper right hand side of the My Courses page. To take a course from the Home or My Courses screen, simply click its title. When taking a course, you can advance through the topics by clicking the Next Topic link at the bottom or top of each page or by selecting the topic directly. As you read through each topic, you will get a green check mark next to the topic title. If you see a gold alert icon next to the topic title, that indicates that there are questions that need to be answered before proceeding to the next topic or submitting your review. Once you have completed a course, you will need to click the Submit Review button on the right-hand side of the screen. If you would like to check the progress of your training, you can select the My Progress tab. Here you can check the status of a course and see the time that you have spent training on it. If you click on the title of the course, you will be taken to the review summary for the selected course. Statuses include Assigned, Available, In Progress, Needs Grading, and in rare cases, invalid. An invalid happens when a course is changed by an administrator while the user is training on it. Please note, if a course is listed as invalid, it will need to be taken again. And finally, if you have forgotten your password, you can use the Forgot Password link on the login screen. Once you have clicked the link, you will be prompted to enter your username. After you have submitted your username, an email will be generated and sent to the email address that you have on your profile in the system. This email will have a one-time login to get you back into the system. At this point, you can easily go and change your password to something that is easier for you to remember. Thanks for taking time to watch this video, and once again, welcome to Weight Trainer.